isometric scale again. Given these two views here of this block of timber, it's in the shape of a house with two different slope roofs. That's the end view and that's the elevation. What we are asked to do is draw the isometric view using the isometric scale. I've set up this diagram similar to the before, 30 degrees and 45 degrees. 30 degrees, 45 degrees. Take the length of this side here, which is 70. Mark it off on the 45 degree line. And draw vertically down to the red line or the 30 degree line. And now set the compass to the length of that red line. And mark it off along the front of the building there and that's the end of the house there the width of the house is 20 and 20 measure up 20 on the 45 degree line draw vertically down to the red line set the compass from the corner to the point on the red line and mark it off on the end of the house twice and that's the width of the house that's the center for the ridge there and that's the far side of the house the height 25 and 10 and 10 so measure up 25 first draw vertically down Take the length now on the red line and mark it up on the corner here. And the next two heights is 10 and 10. So step off 10 on the 45 degree line and draw vertically down. Take the length again that's on the red line and set it up twice on the corner here. And draw those points across the end here. And back the other direction. That's the ridge there. That's the corner before it was cut. Now if you join a sloping line, join those two points. And the same in this end. And that's the ridge again. The back roof goes to the first point there, join that to that first ten. To get the far corner of it, we have to bring back the framework. That's the corner of the frame, and draw straight down there. And then when you come back from the front point now, bring that point back along at your 30 degrees, until it intersects there. And that's the back gutter and join that up. Now line it in and add a little bit of colour to it. And that's your isometric scale to complete.